long can an overvalued stock market stay so high? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. By just about every conceivable measure, stocks today are overpriced. The total value of equities is about $50 trillion. U.S. GDP is around $23 trillion, a ratio of over 2 to 1. Even at the turn of this century, just before a bear market cut the worth of stocks in half, this ratio wasn't so high as it is today. The trailing price-earnings ratio of the S&P 500 is twice its historic average. The average dividend yield of stocks is way below traditional levels. Now look at other measurements of value. The book value of companies compared to their stock market value is far out of line historically. The same is true of the ratio of a company's sales to the total value of its stock. Other flashing red lights include the value of newly traded companies that have little in the way of sales but whose worth is billions of dollars. Rivian Automotive, for example, has a market cap of over $100 billion, yet it is losing money and its revenues are nominal. We see the phenomenon of so-called meme stocks, whereby day traders send equities to the stratosphere based on what? A nice name? Fantasies about the future? Who knows? Now, defenders of the current level of stocks point out that profits should go up smartly for the rest of the year and into 2022. But ratios of profits to stock prices will still be out of line historically. Defenders say dividends may be way low, but so are interest rates. Nonetheless, with monetary inflation looming, you know, the Federal Reserve has been madly printing money, interest rates will go up next year and in 2023. Large companies, especially big tech, have in recent years bought back hundreds of billions of dollars of their stock. But a close look still leaves the overall red light of overvaluation flashing. As for book value, believers in the bull market point out that traditional measures don't measure intangibles like software brands, which are huge. But here again, giving a big value to intangible assets still doesn't change a picture of overvaluation. So what should an investor do? Market timing is a fool's game. Stocks by these historic measures were overvalued months ago, yet the market as a whole has done well. So for retirement funds like a 401k or IRA, keep making maximum contributions. You should always have a cash reserve there. Who knows what can happen? But sticking with low-cost index funds over time will reward you. Don't let bear markets scare you into getting out of the market. The U.S. always comes back. As for non-retirement portfolios, have on hand a large cash reserve. Hold some gold. For a while, you may feel foolish if equities keep rising, but eventually reality sets in. Always. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 